And it was like, you know, getting brighter and then coming down, yeah. getting brighter, so coming area. down. Really strong blink, like uh, front light on the car, maybe. But just for like a half second or something. Winter session, we have two camps. One at this location, which is uh, named Skarvan, and we have also one in that direction. And uh, it's called we called it Botchan because uh, the the name of the location is called Botchan. And here you have a great view. This this area is uh, known to be. Well, many of the pictures of the phenomena from the first years was taken. There was over this area. You know, it's the winter time, and it's cold and it's windy, and uh, so it's uh, different other types of challenges now than in the summer times. The phenomena. <laughs> I'm trying. To, we're trying to figure out what it is. And uh, if you want to find out, you have to go here. It's been uh, quite stormy and a uh, lot of wind, snow, rain, yeah. I have so far, I haven't had any luck seeing anything, so I'm gonna stay up in the mountain tonight to see if I can actually catch something with my own eyes. I must uh, say that the students are doing, uh, doing an excellent job organizing this. They have uh, uh, done almost everything perfectly. They have just been led around by the students and they have uh, driving us around and yeah, they've been perfect. Uh, if you want to experience something like this, be prepared for everything. The weather is can be harsh and uh, don't do any mistakes in the mountains, it can kill you. I'm a sausage cooker, our military way to eat lunch out in uh, nature. Uh, so we open up the hood here and here is the, the container and we just put some water and some sausages up, it, up in here and we drive for like one or two hours and they're perfectly temperate. Perfectly so we, cooked, sausage. Perfectly cooked, yes. That's great. <laughs> so, so, so it's originally meant for melting snow, but uh, we found a much better solution. When it's on automatic. This is here all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it is red all over it. It's hard. A lot of people in the north use them, so especially the Sami people. Uh, in, they have some special boots made of uh, reindeer skin with the the hair on. Uh, but they only only work when it's cold weather. If it's uh, over uh, zero degrees, it's too warm and it will it will get too wet. Okay, so the first one was at 143. Now it could be plus or minus, you know, two or three minutes either way. Yeah. All or short, very fast blinks. Uh, wasn't really big uh, phenomenon uh, this night, but uh, two of them was uh, really good. Was uh, like a really strong blink like a uh, front light on the car maybe but just for like a half second or something and it was like you know getting brighter and then coming down yeah. getting brighter coming down the first four of the six i saw were like flashes yes yeah. <coughs> uh, short quite and uh, moving common. flashes yeah. like, and yeah. murphy's law being what it is the the second last one number five i hadn't seen anything for a while and i had to go to the bathroom yeah. And uh, yeah. so I just, I was outside, so I just walked away from my camera, yeah. 20 feet, and you know, did what I had to do, and I started seeing it happen. And this was the long one, for 25 seconds. And so by the time I finished what I had to do, <laughs> I get my camera, and just as I turn my camera on, goodbye. <laughs> so, that's, that, you know, Murphy's Law, right? Yeah, I and mean, it's so fascinating. It's fun. Yeah. yeah.
You tracked an object going in excess of 30,000 kilometers per hour. Yes, on the other side of the mountain. We had a similar system, the same problem, you can say, with the mountains yes. there. But, you know, the, the radar beam went also above them. Mountain. It goes above the mountains as yes, well. Yes, as well. Mm -hmm. So if there is something behind yeah, the mountain, yes, where you see that. Now, how did you determine it was going 30,000 kilometers per hour? Yeah, it's a mean speed. You know, we know how far it goes around. Yes. And on one spot it was there. On the uh, next spot, it was uh, next round, it was. In another direction, another yes. place, and at the same time, people was outside and saw the same thing, moving in the same direction. So we knew that the thing on the radar was exactly the same as they saw outside. Okay. And they were so seeing it moving like that, and it uh, fit correctly with the direction from the radar when the, when the radar beam was at that direction. Got it. So and, and we know the distance, we know the time. Yes, and you also picked up the object even though people couldn't see it? Yes. You tra continued to track the object? Yes. That was, uh, so we both saw a thing on the radar which we could see with our eyes, you know, this the light which I talked about just now, uh, which with this high speed. And we also got, uh, could see something we could follow on the radar screen. Uh, in, and in fact, close to between the radar and the, and the mountain. So it wasn't that far away. It was about two kilometers uh, to the mountains. So it was between the radar and this mountain two kilometers away. And we could follow the track on this spot moving. And it was a strong, if you, if you see the the, how strong the mountains reflect the radar wave, uh, the, the reflection of this unseen thing moving was as strong as that one. So there was clearly something which did reflect radar waves very strongly, but it was invisible for their eyes.